All right, guys, number 13. So we've done the on delay, and all we really need to do is just take that flow restrictor, remove it from the circuit, turn it around, put it back into the circuit, and we'll have the opposite effect on our pneumatic timer. So we'll go from an on delay to an off delay. Okay, we're going to use the same components. Uh, we're doing just swap, swapping out that flow restrictor. So 3-2 push button controls a pneumatically operated 5-2, and the 5-2 is then controlling a double acting cylinder. Provide a delay off signal circuit in which you press the 3-2 push button, and the 5-2 pneumatically operated relay changes state immediately, and that causes the double acting cylinder to extend. Once the push button is released, though, there's going to be a 5 second delay before it retracts. Okay, let's take a look at how we're going to set this up. All right, guys, so this is our on delay circuit. So all the same components. All we're going to do is we're going to remove these connections here. There we go. Get rid of this guy. Looks good. And then we're going to rotate this guy 180 degrees. Okay, you can see there that we've now changed the orientation of that check valve. So now when the air comes in, we're gonna have full flow going from one to two up to this check valve portion and you see we'll have full flow in this direction. That should fill up the cylinder immediately, or the holding tank, and then that pressure will also be applied to this portion of the 5.2, changing the state right away. Once we let go of the push button, then all of a sudden, all the air that is in here will want to come out and exhaust from two to three. But at that point, the air will then seat this ball right here in the check valve. And the air in the cylinder will have to come down through this flow restrictor, and this will slow down the pressure decreasing in this holding tank. That pressure will still be maintained here, so for a little bit of time, the double acting cylinder will still be extended. Okay, let's hit play and see how this works. Okay, so at that point we have air going to the 3-2, air going to the 5-2. We've chosen in the rest position to have this retracted. By pressing this push button, it should extend the cylinder right away. Okay, again, the simulator doesn't work exactly the same as in the lab. So in your lab, this should change state right away. Okay, let's let go of this guy, and then we'll see whether there's a delay in it coming back. Quite a bit of a delay compared to the, the first circuit there. You can see that the air is still trying to get out of here. I still have the same settings as the on delay, but crazy delay there in having it go to the retracted position. So let's, for some reason, we're going to have to open this guy up a little bit more. Okay, and let's see how it reacts now. We're going to now press this push button, change the state, should change state right away. Then we'll let go of the push button, and the off delay should take some time before it retracts. I've opened up this flow restrictor, so it should be less of a delay. You can see that slowly going back and then finally goes to the retracted position. Excellent. So difference between your on delay and your off delay is really just the orientation of this one-way flow control valve. Okay, again, it's an RC timer. An off delay timer works in that it changes state right away. You remove the input signal and then it takes some time before it goes back to shelf state. All right, let's take a look at this in the lab. Okay, so now we need to do an off delay timer. So I've kept everything the same. I have my initiating signal coming in. Right now I have this set up as an on delay in that it's taking a little bit of time for the signal to come in and then changing state. But I want to switch it up. I want this to now be an off delay. So I'm going to take this component right here, my one-way flow control valve, and instead of delaying the pressure building up in the cylinder, I'm going to delay how long it takes for that cylinder to exhaust out of the switch here. 
Okay, so we, this on delay timer should uh, change state right away. So an, an off delay means that you have to energize it. It'll change state right away. Excellent. And then when I de-energize that timer, then it takes some time to revert back to its rest state. Excellent. Okay, so again, off delay timer has to be energized. It changes state right away. Then when you de-energize that timer, it takes some time to revert back to its rest state. The pressure in here is slowly going out of the 3-2. Once it gets less than that spring, then it retracts. Okay, one more time. Extends right away, takes the signal away, and then takes a little bit of time for it to go back to its rest state. Uh, very nice. All right, guys, that's it for the off-delay timer.